salted caramel chocolate tart. And so the first thing I'm going to do is make my Oreo cookie crust. So I have half a package of Oreos in here. We're going to process. <laughs> tablespoons of melted butter. All right, and now we're going to go put this in our tart pan. All right, here's our tart pan. Once again, it's got a removable bottom. I'm so excited about this dessert. Y'all have no idea. So it's the same way we do a um, regular tart, we're going to do with this. It's all your hands and making sure that you get the fluted edges. Um, this one is not baked. This is just stuck right in the freezer. Oh, if y'all could smell this. All right, now that this is done, we're going to put this on a pan and stick it in the freezer for at least 30 minutes. Um, but if you need to put, leave it in there longer, like we do, because we'll be back to make the rest of the salted caramel part of it tomorrow. So we have our Oreo crust made for our salted chocolate caramel tart. Now we gotta make the caramel. So I have a stick of butter in a saucepan, medium heat. We have two thirds cup of packed light brown sugar. And we are just going to heat that up until it turns a amber color and looks like caramel. <laughs> should take about five or ten minutes so so this mixture is now the butter is all melted we're gonna let it cook up until it bubbles up and then for one minute longer okay see the bubbles forming all through the middle and the sides so we're gonna cook it just a minute longer and then we're going to add a quarter cup of heavy cream into it and pour it into our pie crust. Okay, so our butter and brown sugar is heated to the right temperature. Now we're going to slowly add a quarter cup of heavy cream. We say slowly because if you heat cream too fast, it will curdle in your mixture and you don't want that. So we're going to slowly pour in while whisking constantly. And then we have to let this cool for about 15 minutes. And then we're going to pour it into our tart. Our caramel is finally cool, so we're going to pour it into our tart. And then pop this in the freezer for about 15 minutes. In the meantime, we have some ganache to make for the topping. So last step in our um, salted caramel chocolate tart is a dark chocolate ganache. So I made this in an earlier episode, but in case you need reminding, it is 12 ounces of chocolate, 8 ounces of cream. Heat the cream until it's almost boiling, but not quite and then pour over the chocolate. Let it melt. Um, I put a pan over the top. And then stir it until it's combined. And then, because 
It is a sea salted chocolate salted caramel. We need to add a little bit of salt. So I have my fleur de sel. We're just going to sprinkle over the top and then put this in the refrigerator and let the ganache set up.